Hello everyone and welcome back to our tips and tricks video series. My name is Scott Wolf and I'm a consultant with eCapital Advisors, a partner of Workday Adaptive Planning. Uh, the topic of our uh, tips and tricks video today is going to be repeating reports in Office Connect. Um, and the functionality that these repeating reports provide is um, you can create multiple copies of the same report filtered on a specific element. Uh, the use case for this um, comes when users uh, want to create a report um, that's already been formatted, already been set up, um, but want to filter on something uh, specifically for that report. So in a few easy clicks, uh, they can choose a level, an account, a dimension, an attribute, um, any of those elements, and create a copy of the report for values of their choosing. Uh, one use case could be uh, we're looking at a PL uh, at total company. We want to uh, repeat that report for all of our subsidiaries. So, in a few simple clicks, uh, we can create that exact same report filtered on just the individual subsidiary and it will kick out a few extra tabs that then contain our PL by subsidiary. So let's jump into Office Connect here and I will demo um, the repeating reports. All right, so as you can see here, um, I am looking at a report here in a board package. Uh, we're looking at a functional PL. Um, and this is being um, looked at at a total company level. Uh, in that example I just gave, we wanna look at this by uh, our individual subsidiaries or we wanna look at it by department. Um, however, we wanna filter this report. Uh, so I'm going to go up to the top here and click on the filters dropdown. And when you click on that, you will see we have this repeating reports option here. When I click on that, I will select an element type. When I select an element type, I will then choose the values I wanna repeat the report for. And then we have some naming options here at the bottom. For this example, I'm gonna use our level structure is how I wanna repeat this report. So as I mentioned, this PL currently that we're looking at is at our total company level. Let's say we want to look at it by company A, company B, and company C individually. I choose those three values here. At the bottom here then, um, I'm going to choose that I want uh, the name to be functional PL dash, and then it's going to give me my level name. I have some options here if I want to use just a space or underscore, however you want to name those things. Uh, the next step would then be to click this create option. And as you are going to see here, it's going to kick out three new tabs. So this was our original functional PL. The next tab here now is functional PL dash company A. You can see this is filtered on just company A. So if I click on any of these cells and click review here, um, if I look, at the properties, it's looking at just company A. Company B, same thing here, same format for the report, same everything. Um, and this is going to be filtered on just company B. Same thing here for company C. That is all for today's tips and tricks video. Uh, for more of these videos or content like this, please check out the eCapital Advisors webpage or our LinkedIn page. Thank you and have a great day.